So here we are again. We're having another party. Had all my girls from Regina High School all over. Graduated the year of 78. And today we're making meatballs. And we're doing the whole meatball baking. They're leaving with aprons. They're leaving with meatball scoops. We're having Jersey Mike subs. We're having some soup. And we'll get on with the lesson. Here like to hit? Hit them. Just a random thing. <laughs> so now we have our garlic crushed in here and we're putting basil, fresh basil. This is my grandmother's secret tree. Mint. Mint? Italian flatly parsley. Listen up. Yes, it has to be. This is the specifying of the Peru. This is yes. Pecorino I, Romano. Yeah. I, I usually. Wow. Mm. Mm. The, the doctor told me last time he was there, you only do the um, uh, meat. That's a whole cow there. That's a <laughs> meat. Oh, no, The meat so like it really stale, and then they would just. Oh my god! Yeah. Uh, now, oh, Roxanne, hang on. Oh, 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 So now time to make the spaghetti sauce for um, our meatballs. So it's pretty easy, very, very simple. We start with a nice tall pot. Cover the bottom with olive oil, extra virgin. Four cloves of garlic. Because I'm telling you, as soon as you smell that garlic, you want to So I can just smell it, but I'll let it go a couple of seconds longer. So this saw is quick and in real time. When you pour your tomatoes, pour it into a spoon or on the back of a spoon so it doesn't jump up and splatter on you. So I rinse one from the other. And when I do this, I know it's weird, and you're gonna think, but I always say, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We do it one more time. Salt. Cheese. I put in a three handful of cheese when you're using three cans of the crushed tomatoes. And lastly, basil. And that's it. Put your meatballs in the sauce. Put it on the back burner on very low. And you're good to go. Homemade ravioli. So this is just two pounds of whole milk ricotta cheese. To that I'm adding, this is about a pound, 16 ounces of uh, whole milk mozzarella. And now I'm putting some more of this um, Pecorino Romano in this filling. What the heck? So two eggs. 
olive oil. Makes it nice and smooth and salt. I use a decent amount of pepper. Good filling I use three cups, this is my cup, coffee ah. cup, of um, all-purpose flour, some salt. Put in two eggs of olive oil. And then you're gonna slowly drizzle in some water until the dough kind of gets into a ball. See how it's starting to gather up? Take one of these mozzarella pearls and put it right in the middle. Balls, you need some sauce. What's so the I matter for you? Get out of here! <laughs>